responsibility to advise you that this Senate is now in most respects a courtroom. Senators, you may object to what is presented, but you must explain your objection. A letter authorizing Thomas to act as Secretary of War. Since this office was not vacant, President Johnson of high, President Johnson was guilty of high misdemeanor. Article 3. President Johnson is also guilty of high misdemeanor by appointing Lorenzo Thomas to be Secretary of War without the advice of consent of the Senate, as specified in the tenure of our Constitution by attempting to control the... And Benjamin Curtis. Prosecution, please deliver your opening. You argue that he didn't violate this act. When making speeches to the Congress, use words such as Judas and traitor. Andrew Johnson should not be president if not holding the dignity of the president of the United States should have. Andrew Johnson should be removed from office. Even though Andrew Johnson possesses commander-in-chief, he should not get the right to be able to use the force to drive out members of office. With this power, he would just take more power and reduce the powers of other officials. Edwin M. Stanton has done nothing to merit dismissal. He showed hard work and also effective secretary of work. Andrew Johnson is no man to hold the measure up to the office he now holds. His, his behavior is that of a semi-savage man. He is rough and not flexible. No one even knows how many vetoes he has used. What if any? What if Jefferson, Madison, Monroe were the same name as Andrew Johnson? This country would just be in ruins if earlier leaders had been like Andrew Johnson. Are political, not criminal, and it is not a crime to disagree with the majority of Congress. Free speech is a right given through the Constitution to any president or man. As commander-in-chief of his army, he should be able to know the army's strengths. He has authority to appoint cabinet members. He should have the authority to remove them. The cabinet was designed to aid the president. If a cabinet member is failing to do so, the president should be able to remove him. Any act passed by Congress usurping the president's power is unconstitutional. If this impeachment succeeds, it will destroy the power between Congress and the President, making our President nothing but a big figurehead. All we ask is that you judge Andrew Johnson fairly in regard to his crime, not his
Since you spend so much of this type of news, it is your opinion that reporters frequently change sentence structure to fit their writing style? They can do this. And do these reporters frequently change certain words to add color or emotion or impact to their story? What is the reporter's intent when they decide to change sentence structure or add certain words to their story? They intend to either um, add emotionalism or fit their own particular words. Have you ever listened to a speech and written down what you've heard? No. Okay. 20 years. Do you consider yourself an honest and accurate reporter of the news? Yes. Were you president of the so-called Cleveland speech delivered in September 1866 by the president? Yes. Did the president mention his attack on the Congress any specific names to whom he Okay, hold on just a second. I'm yes. He labeled them Judas, traitors, and hirelings. Are you sure that there was a direct connection between one man's name and a liberalistic label? Yes. For example, if I said, Mr. Davis is a coward, is that similar to what the president said about a particular member of the Congress? Yes. Do you, Mr. Borst, recognize the Western Union Telegraph operator who says he's transmitted your report over his wire service? I do not recognize him. Would you say that if Mr. Pitts transmitted directly off your notes, the facts and quotations are as accurate as humanly possible? Yes. Sir, how far away from the president were you standing as he delivered his speech? A hundred feet. And is this close for you? Close, because I have great hearing. Thank you. Plan to cover campaigns, speeches, and political events in the country. Do you enjoy Do you enjoy your job? Yes, yes, I do. Don't you find yourself getting a bit bored after 20 years? No. Moreover, do you find yourself daydreaming and missing a few words here and there? Nope. Are you positive that, remember you are on the oath, that when the president supposedly labeled certain congressmen, that he used such words as gang and traitor? Yes, I am positive. Remember how many feet, how long his feet is that all the way to Are you sure this is considered close? Yes. Couldn't you have missed a few words if the speaker turned around and addressed audiences on all sides of him? I am sure that I have my information correct. Are you in the habit of recopying your notes? Yes. In September 1866 event, did you recopy your note before handing them to Mr. Pitts? I cannot recall if I do, but I'm pretty sure I did because it's a habit from my early reporting days. Did do you think there's any doubt that Mr. Pitt didn't transmit exactly what you said? There is no doubt. I object. He said your no, I object. Something? No. If the operator wired out goes on my notes, it was correct.